few moments to breathe. Yeah, that would be a nice design. Mmm. Trap former special. Catch them doing something typical. Yeah, I fully agree with Daniel. That should be a good mentality that some, that people do in the future. Hello, Muffin! How's it going? We're here with a trap former from the Sonic and Amateur Games Expo. Cybon Action Nostalge. Available now. Well, the demo for it, rather. Hell, the, dev, the dev's actually in the chat, too. So far, I'm doing well. Uh, what? Oh no. This is actually a boss fight. This is actually a boss fight. Okay, so survived. Noted. Hmm. It's going to come down to memorizing the pattern for this. Ow! Uh, unfortunately, I've had to take a little break. I did, uh... I'm working on the shading for at least one souls and a few other families. But unfortunately, due to not just the expo, but also due to starting up work again soon, I had to delay it. I don't like doing that, but it's something that I had to do. Frig. Worst case scenario, I at least want to have three families, like, finish for their additional shading work. Honestly, Muffin, go for it if you want to. Because, like, I did like the redesign that you did for, uh... Ow! For Urave. I don't mind. If anything, like, uh, I might actually ask you if I could use the... background artwork on that. Oh, right, it just, it just occurred to me who else is here. Um, explanation for creator of this game. I have essentially been working on a card game. If you happen to have Tabletop Simulator, feel free to take a look at it. <laughs> Ow! Mm -hmm. Redraw designs. Let's just call them redraw designs. Because, honestly, it's a bit of both. Because, like, you're not only redrawing some of the artwork, but al you're also adding details to it. You can also call... you can also just say, remake. again! But yeah, the name of the card game is Project Remem or Rekens Memoria. The name itself is Latin that translates to to remember, if I remember correctly. 
or rather recall a memory. Such, it makes sense considering the game is Yu-Gi-Oh! the roguelike, and a good majority of its cards and world setting revolve around memories that have been given concrete forms. Or not just memories, but also perceptions of reality and ideas. It's very much in my field of psychology, and... Well, I've been wanting for the longest to create my own game, because that's just, like, something on a bucket list, among other things. Ah! And the entire world concept ended up just spawning out as a result of the pandemic, so thank you, pandemic. You're an asshole, and I love you. Currently, it's a mod for Tabletop Sim. If I can get a footing experience somehow, then I would love to make, like, a proper executable for it. Right. Hell, like, specifically because it's a mod for Tabletop right now, and nothing else, I specifically didn't want to show it off at Sage. Because I feel like it's not exactly fair for me to do that, if that makes sense. Stop jumping around, kitten. There we go. Now dodge fire. On mentality, I think the appropriate length for this boss fight might just be the end of that fireball section. We'll see what happens once I clear it. Crap. The trap former special. Intimidate you with patterns that are fairly well tem that are fairly well telegraphed, but high in quantity. Oh come on! Actually, I think it is at least somewhat original. Cause definitely original Saibon that I remember didn't exactly have much of a boss fight. I haven't played or seen much of the sequel, so I can't really vouch. Hell, like, uh, the fireball patterns actually for Phase 3 are reminding me a bit of a boss from Ares, actually. Side of boss? Interesting. Ah! That one caught me off guard. <laughs> yeah, you have a you have a point on that one. It was specifically just trying to be a trap for her. Now you're done jumping around, kitten. There we go. Okay, wait. Ah, oh, that nicked me. I kind of skipped through the text on that. That's my fault. If I remember correctly, like, it boils down to the bugger has something I want and doesn't want to give it up. Room. There is a Tetris room in the fourth. Oh, jeez, that's just reminding me of uh, I want me the guy's Tetris crap. That one was gross. Cause like it was very much a one and done type of crap. All right, now for the fireballs. Oh. Yeah, like, specifically so I could try the last 
this is the uh, final stage of this demo. I might end up curtailing the boss fight, unfortunately. I don't like doing that, but... It's actually a curiosity, since Dev and Chad. How many phases long is this boss fight? And if it's more than three, is there a checkpoint past the third? Now! Save on Action X had a level editor, but very much more Okay. Whee! Okay, fireballs. Ow! I swear, the fireballs are my weak point in this. No! Put away that hammer, Daniel. What are you doing? No. I see you adding spikes to that. I may be Iota, but that doesn't mean I don't feel pain. Oh, yeah, fair. Actually, come to think of it, I just thought of a terrible idea for, like... For, like, a multiplayer project where, like... Okay, asymmetrical multiplayer project where one player is, like, controlling a boss and they have, like, three minutes to take down a solo player. The boss has... essentially trap-former-type attacks. All of them on cooldowns. Don't jump many times in the fireballs. Good to know. Okay, so just focus on walking. If anything looks like it's going low, then jump it. Oh, too far! But yeah, like, an asymmetrical multiplayer thing where one player essentially either has a designated time to make a stage full of trap formers that's, like, made of preset blocks, trap former style, or otherwise, like, a boss fight where the player is where the uh, larger team has to survive the, the entire platforming challenge. And they can only fail so many times. So essentially, like, what if you took... Bloody Trapland, or potentially even... Football! Oh, enemies. Wait, what?! Try again. Enemies come in. Shit, I messed up. You have got to be kidding me. If you mess that up, you have to do the wave again? Well then. Time to swag on this boss. I will survive this not once, but twice. Son of a... 
Yeah, I'd agree. Because all these patterns are genuinely enough to be good enough for the first boss. It's just the right amount of difficulty. You made a good decision there. Besides that, it also gives you an opportunity later in the game, if you want, to take this concept for the boss and remix it. Kind of like a way of saying to the player, yeah, you went through this before, but do you still remember it? And further, can you still... do you still have the capability to get through it, even after you've gone through all this much to get to it the first time? When you're done, fire balls. Of course, I chose a bad moment to scratch. Okay. Kick. Made it. <laughs> Football. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, in the game's defense, it's capitalizing on your high. And at that, this is also telegraphed somewhat. Those first three being a trap, that's fine. Tip. <laughs> yes, tip. The most helpful of tips. Here's a tip. Just the tip. Son of a... Again, capitalizing on the tendencies of players, they're going to head to the edge of a platform and try to jump off of it just to maximize their distance when they don't need to do that. All of these jumps are makeable standard. Make this jump. Actually, come to think of it, trigger this block ahead of time. No! <laughs> Profound! Profound sadness. Good thing I could just go back to it. Like, the one- Yeah. If I can knock one thing... There, uh... There is no pause button. And... While it is nice having shift, uh immediately open up that menu in case you want to, like, leave. I feel like there should be a double confirmation. Just in case. Because I've already had a couple moments where, like, I've accidentally poked shift by mistake. And it's led to me leaving a level halfway through. What the heck was that? <laughs> and again, trap telegraph. That trap was directly above that uh, set of background files. Ouch. You've cleared seven of these levels already. You can do this. Don't do that! <laughs> I could do with this. I could also do with that. Let's stop there before I uh, potentially trigger a bot. You got it!
out of me. It's fine. This is a really nice remix of Man theme. Just want to say that. Frank. Good. And... Check for invisible block. Check pass. Marge Simpson playing Cyabon action. <laughs> that by itself would be a funny image. Okay, this platform breaks about halfway through. Make that jump. Ah. Uh. Okay, you can have your melon. I just want the cherry. What? Who the heck is that? Ah, t ah stinger for the upcoming work. Nice. <laughs> I'm looking forward to this project. Like, I happen to like hard games, and I'm not afraid of a little challenge here or there, provided it's fun and fair. And Cyberbond is kind of just one of those games where the challenge really is fair, provided you're paying attention, provided you're willing to learn and to overwrite your programming. That said, Maybe a couple things that did bug me at least a little bit. Shift being an automatic return to menu. Because I've had a couple moments where I've just accidentally tabbed it and voila. All progress gets reset. So maybe have it all in a double confirmation just in case. It also might be nice to have some way to pause during level. Such, that would also help to give shift another function other than immediately exit. Give it a means of allowing the player to calm down. Provided, of course, if you want to keep the original difficulty of Cyobon, you could also make it so that it doesn't show any of the screen when you pause, too. That way, uh, players can't use it as a way to cheat levels and get their bearings. Other than that, I really do like the challenges that are presented with this game. I love the... Just... I love it. Simply, simply put, I love it. I want to see more of it. I want to play more of it. And this project's going on my radar. Which, my, my radar is already fairly big as is. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm tracking at least like six or seven different projects. Again, I wanted to give this game its due diligence. Because, like... I like hard games. I like platformers. I want to play more of them. And Cyobon deserves all the time. Hi, game! You are wonderful! <laughs> You're recording! Hi, everyone! Hello, game! That's a wonderful... Is it, that's a wonderful feature. I love it. <laughs> huh. 
<sighs> but yeah, I'm probably gonna end stream here. I've gone a little over time, but it's specifically because, well, it took me a good 15 minutes to flail with uh, Streamlabs, specifically because the expo actually brought me up to uh, approximately affiliate rank. So I need to do a little work with that, figure out how that's going to work. Maybe potentially work on emotes if I'm able to. So yeah, that's something. <laughs> so to those who drop by, everyone, thank you so much. I appreciate the work with... I appreciate not just taking up a bit of your time to well, show off this game, but also to the creator for making this project in the, come to reality in the first place. I really enjoy it. Tune in next week, Saturday, 9 a.m. Eastern to noon for Random Games. Though I am making it so that the first weekend of every month, that Saturday is specifically going to be a Sonic and Amateur Games Expo stream. Specifically to cover entries for a full three hours, figure that's going to be something that people might want to tune into. Of course, since I'm going to be starting up work again soon, sometimes my Saturdays might get taken up, such I will try to give a notice in advance in the week on, like, Twitter, so Sage of Magi, as a notice on that one, so feel free to pay attention to that. If I can remember to, I'll try to give a notice on the Sage Discord as well. I figure that's good customary. Otherwise, tune in Sundays, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard to 10 for my game clearing stuffs. Currently, it's The World Ends With You, Fractal is on, a randomizer for that game. If you miss any of these streams, don't worry. They stay up on Twitch for a couple weeks, then get ported off to a YouTube channel, Sage Blake, where it's in easier to digest chunks, anywhere from 15 to 40 minutes, so approximately TV show length. You can also find additional Sage After videos up on there as well that I try to release week weekly when possible. This week be an exception specifically because, well, Sage Week. No problem. Again, I like the Expo. I really like the Amateur Games Expo, the Sonic and Amateur Games Expo. I want to give at least as many of the entries as I can their due diligence because people put a lot of work into these and I figure I should too to properly show them up. Otherwise, I'm easily accessible on, di on a few different discords, Sage Discord among others, Sage of Magi. I also have tw a Twitter account, Sage of Magi once again there. And the final item I, want to I do want to plug, I'm making a card game, Project Remem or Rakan's Memoria on Tabletop Simulator. Think of it like Yu-Gi-Oh! the roguelike only based around memories and perceptions of reality. It's a free mod, and yeah, I'm constantly trying to update it every month, if not every other month. So, with all things settled, I think it's about time I return to my void. Till again, I'll look at you, Have a wonderful day, and stay safe.